Welcome student. Let's learn how to add and subtract decimal numbers. Let's first of all revise about place value chart of decimal numbers. This is a place value chart of a decimal number. Over here the number formed on the left of a decimal point is called the whole number part. While the number formed on the right of a decimal point is the number whose value is less than 1. Now let's use this place value chart to add the numbers. For example, we need to add 212.8 and 738.6. First of all, place these numbers in a place value chart. Now let's add the digits given on the right of a decimal point. So 8 plus 6 will give us 14. Place the 4 below 8 and 6 and take the 1 on the top of the digits at 1's place. Now let's add the digits given on the left of the decimal point. First of all add the digits at 1's place. So 8 plus 2 and 1 gives us 11. Place the 1 below 1's place and take the another 1 on the top of the 10's place. Now simply add the digits at tens place. So 3 plus 1 plus 1 will give us simply 5. Now let's move to the digits at hundred place. 7 plus 2 simply gives us 9. So we can say that our answer is simply 951.4. Now look at this question. Over here this picture shows the cost of the stereo system in sale which is 107.83 and it says that Jonathan paid $3.43 as sale tax and $14.07 extra for the accessories. And now we need to find how much money he paid in total. So that means we need to simply add all these amounts. We know that the cost of stereo system is $107.83 and sale tax is $3.43 while the cost of accessories is $14.07. So total amount paid will be simply addition of all these decimal numbers. So which gives us the total as $125.33. Let's see how to add these three numbers. Let's first of all make a place value chart for this. This is a place value chart. Put the decimal point in the decimal column and simply place these numbers in a decimal chart. Now let's add the digits given on the right of the decimal point. First of all, add the digits given under the hundreds place. So 7 plus 3 plus 3 gives us simply 13. Put the 3 below the digits at hundreds place. And take the 1 on the top of the digits at tens place. Now simply add the digits at tens place. So 4 plus 8 plus 1 simply gives us 13. Similarly, put the 3 below the digits at tens place and take the 1 on the top of the digits at ones place. Now let's add the digits given on the left of the decimal point. Simply add the digits at ones place. So 4 plus 3 plus 7 plus 1 simply gives us 15. Put the 5 below the digits at 1's place and take the 1 on the top of the digits at 10's place. Now let's add the digit at 10's place. So 1 plus 1 simply gives us 2. And carry on the digit at 100's place as it is. 
So that gives us the answer as 125.33. Now let's use this place value chart to subtract decimal numbers. For example, we need to subtract 436.432 and 241.232. Simply make a place value chart. And first of all, put the point in a decimal column and rest of the digits at their respective place. Similarly, place the second number below the above number. Now let's start subtracting the digits given on the right of the decimal point. First of all, subtract the digits at thousands place. 2 takes away 2 simply gives 0. Now let's subtract the digits given at hundreds place. 3 takes away 3 gives 0. Let's move to the digits at tens place. 4 takes away 2 simply gives 2. Now after this, let's move to the digits given on the left of the decimal point. Let's first of all subtract the digits given on the ones column. 6 takes away 1 gives 5. Now let's move to the digits given in the tens column. Since 4 is more than 3, so we can't subtract 4 from 3. Let's make this 3 as 13. For this, borrow 1 from that 4. So 3 changes to 13. 13 takes away 4 simply gives 9. Now 4 at hundreds place changes to 3. Now subtract 3 and 2. 3 takes away 2 simply gives 1. So we can say our answer is 195.200 which is simply 195.2. Now let's see this example. It says Mary went to McDonald's with her sister Martina. She ordered a hamburger, soft drink and soup. The price of the items she ordered are as follows. Hamburger cost $3.55 while soft drink cost $0.83 and a bowl of soup cost $1.23. Now she gave $10 at the service window. So how much money she got back? First of all, Let's add the cost of each of these items. You can simply add the cost of hamburger, soft drink and a bowl of soup on the piece of paper. When you add all of these, you will get your answer as $5.61. Now look at the next line. It says that she gave $10 at the service window. So in order to find how much money she got back, simply we will be subtracting $10 and $5.61. You can try the subtraction on the piece of paper. And finally you will get your answer as $4.39. So we can say that she got back $4.39. With this example, we come to the end of this topic. Hope you have learned how to add and subtract decimal numbers. Goodbye and see you in the next session.